Hello and welcome to Jeju City in the southern region of Korea for the 8th AIBA Women's World Boxing Championships and the last major amateur boxing tournament for 2014. 280 boxers representing 67 nations have made this a record-breaking championship with two out of the three Olympic boxing champions from the London 2012 Games in action in these finals here today. Light fly, fly, bantam feather, and the lightweights to get the action underway. Watch out for Katie Taylor looking for her fifth world championship gold medal. And of course, uh, Katie Taylor boxing in the women's lightweight division. The star of the show so far here in Jeju City has been Clarissa Shields, the teenage sensation from the United States of America, gold medalist in London in 2012, and looking to add the world championship title at just 19 years of age to her ever-increasing list of accolades in the world of women's boxing. The lighter boxers get the action underway and we'll finish the day with the heavyweights. First up, it's the light flyweight division. And it is India up against Kazakhstan. Shamjet Sabam in the red corner up against Kazibai of Kazakhstan in the blue. Well, uh, Shamjet Sabam of India, a former youth world champion, goes up against uh, Kazakhstan's uh, national champion and uh, a bronze medalist from these world championships two years ago when contested in uh, Xinhuang Tao of uh, China. Well, Shamjet Sabam, as you can see, found the going just a little tougher where she beat uh, Raksat of Thailand in her semi-final. But uh, other than that, a very impressive pathway to this finale. World ranked three with a bronze medal to her name from the 2012 World Championships, Nazim Kazabai, at just 21 years of age, is the favorite to take the gold here. But uh, Shamjet Sabam has showed some tremendous boxing skills, both of the boxers at 21 years of age. Our five judges in this 10-point must scoring system are from the USA, Italy, Poland, Ireland and Denmark. The 10-point must scoring system sees all five of the judges score the contest, but three will be selected randomly from the computer, and those three scores will be taken to determine the winner here in the most transparent scoring system in the world of boxing. Four rounds, two minutes per round, with a one-minute break in between this is the first of 10 bouts in the 2014 women's world boxing championships from jeju city korea blue corner kazakhstan the red corner is india Round one. Boxes. and that shamjet sabam knows that she's got to take this uh, fight to kazabai looking to get a little more Action, no time for sizing each other up, straight in with the combination, straight in with the scoring punches. A little bit of a slip as she tries to pivot out to change the angles there, but uh, not a knockdown. Now, Kazabai, by far the more experienced of the two, world ranked three. Counter-punching from the Kazakh. Clearly happy for Shamjet Sabam to make all of the aggressive forward moves. Just a slight problem with the head guard for Kazabai. And Kazabai. Well, test of both the boxers' nerves here. Straight back with the lead hand jab here. But. Uh, Shamjet Sabam is determined to be the puncher, trying to get him as close as she can. The referee wants to see no holding from the uh, Indian boxers. Good shots to the body from Kazebai on the counter there. As 
the Indian tries a right hand over the top. 20 seconds left on the clock in the first round. Both boxers scoring consistently. Both boxers putting some good combinations together. Good right hook, right on the bell. Bronze medals in this uh, light fly division have gone to Madoka Wada and uh, Tratamat Raksat of uh, Japan and Thailand. Let's take a look at some of the replays here, some of the point scoring punches. There, lovely left shot. And a right hook to go with it as well. And another right over the top there, but some good body shots on the counter punch in that particular combination. But uh, all three of the judges are impressed with the uh, puncher style of Shamjet Sabam coming forwards aggressive from the start and uh, takes the first round from all three of the judges. So the World Championship bronze medalist from two years ago, Nazim Kazibai in the blue corner. Needs to pick it up a bit here. And does just that. Starts lovely. First of all with the jab and a nice three-punch combination. Two punches to the back of the head. Looking to feint. Kazibai. She's got to start putting the work in here. She's happy to try and draw on her opponent. She goes forwards for the first time. That's better work from uh, Kazibai. over 40 seconds in the second round remember the Indian boxer has taken the first this is better work though from the Kazakh favorite good straight punch combination there good shots to the body and uh, three four good punches dropping the guard trying to draw her in Again, lovely feint to take the right scoring punch. Ten seconds now in the second round. This is a better round for the Kazakh boxer, Shamjet Saban. Not finding the same rhythm or tempo in this second round as she found in the first. And I'd give that one the blue corner for Kazibai to level it all up. Mizakov, the coach for the uh, Kazakh team, absolutely clear with the instructions. Good left hook from uh, the Indian in the slow mo replay there, misses here. And uh, as predicted. Kazaibai now levels the score at the halfway point. Totals for both boxers, 19 all. Anybody's gold medal for the taking here in the women's light fly division. Much better work in that uh, second round. As for Shamjet Sabam. Needs to find the uh, pace and cadence that she demonstrated in the first. And here she goes. This is exactly how she approached the opening exchanges in that first round. Sajabula Samdet Sabam of India in the red. Kazaibai in the blue. Both boxers putting in some good shots there.
good work. Good counter punching from the Kazakh in blue. Sabam tries the big right hand over the top. Just over 30 seconds left in this third round. Good counter punching again from uh, Kazibai. Twenty seconds in the third round. Both boxers cannot afford to spend too much time holding and taking a bit of a breather. Forward with that jab. Nice footwork again from uh, Kazibai. Just under ten now. Good finish here for either boxer. Could seal the third. Well, a great shot, but it was after the bell from <laughs> Shamjet Sabam. Very close. Again, my card just has uh, Kizibai. Kizibi. Kizibi is the way I'm trying to say it. There. A lot of punches thrown from the Indian. Not all of them on target. Two, three. But then the counters here. Great right hand through there from uh, Shamjet Sabam. All three with the Kazakh boxer at 29 at 28 into the fourth and final round. Still only one point in it. Fourth and final round. Still could go the Indian boxer's way. No holding. Firm warning from the referee for Sham Jetsabam. And again, perfect timing from uh, Kazabi. And Kazabai, I should say, after a slightly nervous start. Now he's starting to score consistently. Well, for both these athletes, it will be a career best. The Indian boxer in red, a uh, former Aiba Youth World Champion in 2011 for Kazaibi. For Kazabai. A bronze medal from 2012, but she's looking good here. Now she's starting to control this fight. Another good combination from the Kazakh boxer in blue. Ten seconds, fifteen seconds on the clock. Good finish from both boxers required here. Both of the Indian and Kazakh rings clearing, and look at this closing exchange. Good shots, I have to say, from the red corner. And there's the bell. What a great matchup in the final of the women's light flight. Nazim Kazaibe of Kazakhstan for me has just held on after a slow start. Took getting her out of getting herself out of trouble here. And again, a lot of punches thrown, but most of them on target for the boxer in blue. The winners, 
Zaibi takes the gold for Kazakhstan. It will be silver for Shamjet Sabam. 39-37 from all three judges by the end of proceedings. And uh, Kazaibai, one of a possible two gold medals in the finals here today for the Kazakh Boxing Federation.